Hi guys, it's Sophie. So I'm going to be vlogging this weekend. Um, I thought it would just be nice. I haven't done one in a while and on one of my recent videos somebody said, I think it was Novel Sanctuary, said um, more vlogs please and I was like yeah I didn't make enough and I thought why not. So this is going to be a fairly chill weekend at Tom's. Tom's over there watching the football. Um, and I have got a little pile of books that I'm going to be reading um, and I've got to show you those first. So the first one I've got is Hillbilly Elegy um, by J.D. Vance and I am 122 pages into this one, it's like 250 pages long so I'll probably finish this one that weekend. The other one I have that I want to try and finish this weekend is The Overstory by Richard Powers, um, that's how far through I am now so that's like 100 pages left. Um, and I just want to finish this one. I'm really liking it, but I'm keen to get on to more my bookers. Um, and the other ones are much, much shorter. This is definitely the longest of the kind of pack of them. Um, I've got five left after this one, so I'm doing pretty well. Um, and then I bought two others which aren't my bookers and I haven't started yet. And the first of those is The Upstairs Room by Kate Murray Brown, which is a thriller and it's starting to get, she says, it still looks nice out there right now, but it's starting to get a little bit colder and thrillers and cold weather are just fab. Um, and then the last one I have is the one I spoke about my haul that I was so excited for and that one is Love Slash War by Ebba Witt Bratstorm. Um, and yeah, I really, really, really wanted to read this one as soon as it arrived. Like I even sat down and like flipped through but made myself wait because I thought it would be a really nice weekend book um, to try and read like either in one sitting or like close to. Um, yeah, so I will chat to you guys a little bit later, let you know how I get on. Um, if we go out, you will come with me. Um, yeah, I'll chat to you guys in a sec. Football's just finished and I have only 30 pages of the overstory left, but we're going to get some lunch um, and we're going to go out in a minute and try and pick some blackberries. Um, we've got some apples from the garden to make an apple and blackberry pie. I think Foster's hiding in here somewhere. There they are. She's there they are. Hi. Oh, hello, little girl. <laughs> she yeah, she doesn't like it here very much. <laughs> This one here is Eli, and he's an old boy. Um, Foster is very cross, um, but she's, yeah, she's, she's, she finds it quite unsettling to move around, don't you, darling? But yeah, she'll get over it. Um, we just driven out to go and get some ingredients for. I know, I know, you're not very happy. Yeah, we've just gone out to go and get some ingredients for a pie we're gonna make. Don't attack me. Um, and um, we're gonna go and get some blackberries on a walk in a bit, which I will show you. But yeah, just thought I'd check in. Um, I have 30 pages left of the overstory now, so I'm going to sit here for a bit and finish that one off. Yeah.
So I just finished making the pie now and it's in the oven. It's gonna be like 40 minutes till it's done. Um, I also finished the overstory and I really liked it. I gave it five stars. Um, I'll be doing a review of that one soon. Um, I'm gonna go on to Hillbilly Elegy now, I think, though I might give myself a bit of a break and read a bit of Love Slash War. We'll see, we'll see how I feel. Um, but yes, so that's been really good. Um, we've had quite like a short day today because we didn't get out of bed until like midday because we, we stayed up late last night watching the Blair Witch Project, <laughs> um, which terrified Tom and I like it. Um, so yeah, that's kind of Thanks where- that in there, darling. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that's kind of been our day. Um, I don't know what we're gonna do tonight. We might watch more of Sharp Objects. We've been watching that together and it's been really good. Um, have you guys been watching it? Comment down below if you like it as well. I think it's brilliant. Um, yeah, I will chat to you guys in the morning. I expect that I might do a little bit tonight. We'll see. We have pie. It's kind of leaked through, I love it. I really hope it's good. We've got some custard and we've got some ice cream to have with it as well. So fingers crossed, Eli, you cannot eat this. We had a really nice dinner um, and the pie was really good, which was amazing. Um, we've just been sitting and reading really. Um, which has been cool. I've read, I've started and finished, like in that session, Love um, War, which I liked. Um, I liked it as I was reading it, but I don't know how much I'll like it after the fact, if that makes sense. I think it's one of those. Um, it made me very angry <laughs> and I underlined quite a lot, um, but I don't know whether or not it will stay with me. I feel like I've read better things about abusive relationships. Um, and I'm currently reading Hillbilly Elegy, but I'm not really enjoying it to be honest. I'm like halfway through now and I don't think it has as much of a point as I hoped it would, to be honest. Um, it just kind of feels like more about the individual's life and his perception of it than necessarily any social trend or anything wider. And I think memoir has to be really good if I will read just about someone's life and this just doesn't feel that special. Just the cat. <laughs> All right there, Foz. Um, so I don't know if I'm going to stop reading Hillbilly Energy for a bit and move on to the other book, the last book that I have with me, which is The Upstairs Room by Kate Murray Brown, which is a thriller. Um, I think I've heard some kind of mixed things. Some people quite like it, other people are not that much of a fan of it. Um, but I just really fancy a thriller like for the cold part of the year. Um, yeah, I've read a lot already um, and it's only Saturday night now so I've still got the whole of Sunday to read and relax and I'll update you then. So it's first thing on Sunday morning now and I'm really tired. Um, I didn't sleep very well so I just feel like ugh this morning. Um, but last night I managed to finish um, The Love and War by Eva. Uh, Wit Brandstorm and I quite liked it um, as I said last night but don't think it's going to stay with me necessarily. I then started The Upstairs Room by Kate Murray Brown um, and I'm only like right at the very beginning like two chapters in like 14 pages in um, but I think I'm going to probably read more of this one today. And then as I say I'm like halfway through Hillbilly Allergy and I'm torn as to whether or not I finish it. I might read one chapter one chapter and just try and get through it seeing as I'm nearly there. Um, but we'll see. Um, the cats are wandering around. I've let the two um, outdoor cats outside because when Foster's here they have to stay inside so I've just let them outside for a little bit. Um, yeah and I think I'm going to make a cup of coffee and wake myself up a bit and then I will read for a little bit longer. So it's just a little later on Sunday now and I'm watching some booktube. Tom is reading. I've read um, a little bit of The Upstairs Room. I really enjoyed it but I'm going to grab my knitting and settle down to catch up on some videos which is nice I haven't done this in a long time. So I had a really sad period today. I wasn't feeling great so I um, haven't really read much or done much any further than I had when I spoke to you this morning. Um, I'm gonna say goodbye for this video um, but I'm gonna go and look after myself and do some self-care stuff now. Um, we're gonna go up to the woods and do a quick walk and then um, I'll probably head on back home, but I just thought I'd finish up um, and yeah, everything's not always rosy I know it can sometimes seem that way on social media, but I still do do, do have really bad days sometimes um, Yeah, I'm doing okay. I just need to go and deal with this. So yeah, I will chat to you guys soon in another video. Bye Thank you.